What's up everyone, this is Jermaine. Now everyone has been dying to get my grandmother's macaroni and cheese recipe. And guess what? This ain't it. <laughs> but my friends at Tasty challenged me to make a mac and cheese recipe featuring these brand new Cheetos flavored mac and cheese. Y'all excited? I'm excited. Let's do it. First, I'm gonna start with a rough chop on half of an onion, peel three cloves of garlic, and then add them to the blender. So we're gonna blend this until it's smooth, and if it gets like kinda stuck in there, or get a little tight, add a little olive oil in there to loosen it up. So now it's nice and blended, there's no more chunks. Now before we add this to our pot, we're going to add butter. You wanna make sure the butter is fully melted before you add the onion and garlic mixture. And also, be careful not to burn your butter because you don't wanna burn the butter. Okay, our butter is melted, so now we can add the mixture. It doesn't look very appetizing, but it smells delicious. Put the heat up a little bit, and then we're gonna cook the onions and the garlic. So you want this to go for about another like three minutes or so. Once again, stirring it to make sure it doesn't burn, but you just want to cook a little bit because you don't want raw onion in there. While our onions are cooking, I'm gonna add the noodles to some boiling water. Today, I'm using elbow macaroni. Time for the cheese sauce. I'm gonna start with the heavy whipping cream and add it to my onion mixture. The next, and lastly, our aged white cheddar. All right, so we're gonna let this go for another like three, four minutes, or however long it takes for it to get nice and smooth. But uh, you need to watch it because it will burn. So make sure you're stirring it gradually. While this cheese is going, we're gonna chop up some fresh jalapenos to kick up the cheesy jalapeno flavor a couple notches. So we're gonna cut this in half and we are going to spoon out the seeds and membrane. Now I do this because Personally, I don't like my butt to be on fire, but if that's your thing, leave them in there. More power to you. So now the jalapenos have been scooped out, you know, they're a little more mild. Uh, we're gonna give them a fine chop on there. We want the jalapenos to be evenly distributed through the uh, jalapeno layer. Remember your knife etiquette. We don't want you losing any digits today. All right, jalapenos are done, cheese is done, noodles have been drained, time for assembly. So first, we're gonna add our cheese sauce to our al dente noodles and then we're gonna give it a quick stir. And you wanna make sure that you save about a cup and a half of your cheese sauce, because that's gonna be the base for what we pour over top of the tower. Ooh wee -hee. I'm adding some more unmelted cheese because this is gonna help hold together those layers, because you know, this is gonna be a tower and it's gonna be beautiful. Give it another stir, add a little more cheese, give it another stir, ooh baby. If your mac and cheese doesn't look like this, is it really macaroni and cheese? I mean, like, is it for real? Okay, so next we're gonna distribute this into our three different bowls for our three different layers. It's about four, about four cups. So now everything's been distributed. Now we're gonna add our seasoning packs. So first we're gonna add the flaming Hot. We had the smaller packets for the flaming Hot, so I'm gonna use two of them. And then we're gonna add the jalapeno. And now for the jalapenos that we chopped up earlier. It's looking very Cheeto-y already. It kind of looks like that cheese dust that you get stuck on your fingers. And, you... and lastly, our original cheese flavor. We're gonna save half of this packet for the cheese sauce at the end. Okay, so now we're gonna add the egg, which is another binder that's gonna hold this whole thing together. We're gonna put one egg into each bowl. So now we're gonna stir this up. Look, this is already starting to be flaming hot color. I can't wait to see this thing. That egg is acting as a nice binder to kind of bring it all together. And then when it cooks up, it'll help everything just, just firm up and stay together. Our next step is to add them to baking pans. Now, each one of these baking pans have been greased with butter and they've been lined with parchment paper that I cut out to fit in the bottom. You wanna make sure these pans are really, really greased because you don't want the macaroni and cheese sticking. You want it just to pop right out. When you add the macaroni in, you just wanna flatten it out to make sure it's filling the bottom of the pan. All right, I don't know about y'all, but this looks crazy. I can't wait for it to be done, man. So, we're gonna add some Colby Jack cheese on the top of each one of these. That way when we go to flip it, it kinda locks it in and stays together. You just wanna lightly cover the top of it. You don't have to go overboard. You got enough cheese in here already. So, now we're gonna bake these for about 45 minutes on 375. Now this one is gonna take longer to cook and these are probably gonna be done a little sooner, so you may pull these a little earlier. All right, so now for the moment of truth. We're gonna flip these bad boys out and hopefully, you know, hopefully it came out right. All right, so I'm putting the cake stand on the top. We're gonna to flip this thing over. Hopefully, 
If I butter this enough, it'll just pop right out. Let's see. All right, this is our first layer, cheesy jalapeno. is perfect. Now time for the next one, flaming hot. Woo! Hold it for him. Let's take the parchment paper off of this one because it's still there. It's looking good. I'm gonna try to put it on the plate and transfer it over. <laughs> I'm really glad we put that egg in here because it might have been over if we didn't. Easy does it. Woo! All right, there we go. Two layers down, one more to go. Smallest one should be a little easier, as you can see. Boom, there we go. That one's out of there. Now we're gonna slide this on top. All right, it's together. All right, we got the th So I should've let this cool off a little longer. <laughs> it's falling apart right here on this outside. It's just one part. Hopefully that's the only part that comes off. It's too much weight. It's too much weight. <laughs> Why? Cake stand, not a good idea. So. I think we can all agree that that first attempt was a disaster. I think the issue was I didn't let it cool long enough. So this time I let it go about 20, 30 minutes to cool off. So I also decided to ditch the cake stand. That way we have a little more support. Hopefully it's not a catastrophe. First layer. Second layer. So far, so good. Okay, now time for our final layer. Yeah, that's the mac and cheese tower. So, time for the cheese sauce. Here goes nothing. Ooh. Oh yeah, that is so cheesy. So, I'm going to add some Cheetos to the base, and then I'm going to sprinkle some crushed Cheetos all over top to give it a nice little garnish. This is actually looking pretty cool, if I do say so myself. Now for our parsley. There it is, voila, a Cheetos mac and cheese tower. All right, let's do this. Mmm, that's pretty good. It definitely has the jalapeno taste. I think the fresh jalapenos definitely helped. You really got the Cheeto flavor in the cheese I poured on top. The flaming Hot, it has like a little kick towards the back end. Not too overwhelming, which is good. So this is definitely an upgrade from your regular boxed macaroni. This thing looks pretty crazy, but I'm actually pretty happy with how it came out. I'm Jermaine Rawlings, and I'm tired. Talk to you later. Oh, yes!